Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at my top choices for cases for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, in front of me on the table right here is just the tip of the iceberg. This isn't even all the cases that I've tested. I roughly have somewhere north of, I would say, a dozen cases for the Nintendo Switch Lite. And to be perfectly honest, some are good, some are bad, and some are really just better than others. Now, today's best of video is going to be way different than the other ones that you see regularly on my channel, because instead of going through all the cases I have, finding out why the ones that aren't so good aren't good, we're going to be focusing only on the top four cases that were just better than all the rest. Basically, why waste time figuring out why the cases that weren't so good weren't so good? Basically, rather than wasting time focusing on the bad cases, we're going to be taking all our time to focus on the good cases. And if you're wondering why there isn't just one best of overall case, well, the answer is really simple. And that reason is that not everyone uses their Nintendo Switch Lite in the same way. Therefore, not everyone has the same needs out of a case. So as we're going through the cases, I'll be pointing out what the strong points are of the case. And based on how you're using your Nintendo Switch Lite, it should become pretty clear which is the best for you overall. So now let's not waste any more time. I'm going to clear this table and we're going to start looking at those top four cases and exactly what made them stand out. So the first of the Nintendo Switch Lite cases that I recommend and that I really ended up liking is actually the official Nintendo version of the Nintendo Switch Lite case. So stylistically wise, this case has only a few variations. I have the Animal Crossing version right here. I know there's a Pokemon version and a couple of others out there. But why we're choosing this case has very little to do with style. It really has to do with the compactness of the case. Now, basically, this case on the list is the most compact overall, and really, it's for someone who wants to prioritize portability above everything else. Now, let's switch to a closer look and figure out why this case can be a great buy for someone who really wants a small, portable Nintendo Switch Lite case. So first of all, before we get started on the inside of the case, I just want to point out that the material Nintendo used is really, really high quality. You can tell when you're feeling this case, even compared to some of the top third party brands, uh, this case is really top notch quality. Like I wouldn't throw it off of a three story building, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the Nintendo Switch Lite would survive that kind of fall without any damage whatsoever in this case. So as I mentioned earlier though, the main reason other than build quality why this case is a great choice is the compactness of the case. Basically, you can't really get a Nintendo Switch Lite case any smaller than this. If I bring the Nintendo Switch Lite into frame, so first of all, size-wise, you can see that both length and width of the Nintendo Switch Lite, this case is barely larger than the Nintendo Switch Lite. But not only that, if we switch to thickness, if you look at that thickness, if you take into account the ZL and ZR triggers, this case is barely thicker than the trigger section of your Nintendo Switch Lite. I mean, it's slightly larger, but honestly, I don't think you could have the console fit comfortably in a case by making it any smaller than this. So if we start with the inside of the case, the bottom section of the case has nothing special, although it has a very soft to the touch material to protect your, the back of your Nintendo Switch Lite. And if we flip here, basically we have a place to place eight different gaming cartridges, meaning that even though this is an extremely compact case, you know that you can at least fit eight games in here. Now you do have a netted section here for adding extra accessories with your Nintendo Switch Lite. But the name of the game here, like the case, is they have to be thin accessories. Now, just to give you an idea of what it could look like with a few accessories in the Nintendo Switch Lite thrown in there, I'm going to be using my 8-bit Do 02 uh, miniature controller, which is pretty much the only size gaming controller you could fit comfortably in this case. Let's say you want to bring also a few extra games. I have this also really thinly made uh, Pokedex edition uh, extra game case. Now lastly, if you really want to push it, you could even try fitting in a USB-C charging cable. However, forget about fitting in the power brick. You're going to need a cable that has a USB-C 
uh, only end and you could fit that in that case so now let's say we throw our nintendo switch Lite in there we close this bad boy up and we have a nice compact storage case for our nintendo switch Lite. now if there is one major drawback to this case it's unfortunately the price this was overall the most expensive case that I've bought out of all the cases I have. And it costed roughly $25. Now that isn't crazy priced. However, when we compare it to what some of the third party brands are offering for a lower price, this case just doesn't feel very well equipped. It only comes with roughly one screen protector. And I'll be honest with you, it is definitely not my favorite screen protector offered on the market. However, a lot of people will point to the excellent build quality, which can maybe be the reason why Nintendo is selling their products a little more. However, I also think that a lot of us out there are getting used to that Nintendo tax for first party uh, products. And that ultimately, there really is no reason other than Nintendo knows they can get away with it. But overall, this does remain one of the best cases I've tried. And if someone is really prioritizing portability above all the rest well this is an excellent choice now just before we move on i forgot to mention that all the cases in this video will be linked in the description down below so if you want to make sure that you're getting the exact case that i showed in the video use those links at the same time it helps the channel out which always is a bonus and also if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more don't forget to hit like on that video and subscribe if you aren't already and activate the notification bell so you see all my future videos. So the next case on our list is the OIVO Extra Capacity Storage Case. Now design wise it's available in three colors pretty much matching the colors of the original Nintendo Switch Lite. I haven't seen it in pink yet but I'm pretty sure OIVO isn't too far off with that design. Now this case has two major points going for it. Number one is the price. This is one of the cheapest cases, but also a very well built case. And it came in at only $12. Secondly, and we're going to be seeing this in the close up video. This case has been specifically designed to accommodate the Nintendo switch equipped with either a rubber or a plastic shell around it. So if you're using those accessories already with your Nintendo switch Lite, this is probably going to be one of the best case offerings for you out there. So now let's take a closer look and see exactly what the case is offering. Now, the first thing I'd like to point out is that for a non-licensed third party brand, the quality on this case feels actually really nice. It's not exactly as high quality as the first party Nintendo case, but honestly, I would pit it against any of the other third party manufacturers talking about the officially licensed ones. And honestly, I don't think OIVO has anything to feel bad about. The case design looks really, really clean and also really sturdy. Now, just before we look at the inside to point out, now this case does come equipped with a little wrist strap. It is pretty nice to have around, especially if you carry your switch around in your hands rather than a backpack or any type of other bag. But, you know, it's a nice little addition here. You can remove it if you don't need it whatsoever. It's simply a, a clip on. Now, as we're opening this case, I just want to point out that really you can see, as I mentioned earlier, that this case was really designed with accepting the Nintendo Switch Lite with a shell because like 80% of the volume of the case is in the bottom part here. Now, what I really like about the inside of this case is the molded design in the bottom. Once the switch is in there, trust me, it is not wiggling around. It's not jumping around at all in this case. Also, since we upped the volume in this case, well, rather than have only eight game cartridges accepted in the basic case, well, this case comes with two steps that accept up to 16 cartridges. There's also a Velcro strap for tying down your switch for extra security to make sure it really doesn't move around once the case is closed. Now, just to mention, the SN30 Pro is a no-go in this case. This is sort of my go-to controller where if you want a full Nintendo Switch controller, this is your best chance of having it fit in a normal case. And unfortunately, the SN30 Pro does not fit in this case. So once again, your best bet is to go with really thin accessories like once again, the 8-bit Zero, 
the you know really thin case and once again you can also fit in your USB cable and it's not quite a tight fit like the last time. However, as I said, the real star of the show is that this case accommodates the Nintendo Switch Lite even with a rubber protector. So if you look here, I have the rubber uh, protector on my Nintendo Switch Lite. You fit it in the case. As I said, because it's a molded design, once it's in there, the Nintendo is not moving whatsoever. And we close this bad boy up and it's a really comfortable fit. So overall, this is another excellent case for your Nintendo Switch Lite. So there we have it, the OIVO extra capacity case with the Nintendo Switch Lite in there and all those accessories. So as I mentioned, this is a great case. It's one of the most budget friendly cases out there. It is also one of the only cases that can accommodate the Nintendo Switch Lite without having to remove a plastic or rubber shell. However, the biggest drawback to this case, once again, is the size of the accessories that you can fit in it. Once again, it has to be very thin accessories and forget fitting a full size power brick. This case cannot do it. Now, the next case that we're going to be looking at is the Power A protection case. Now, this case is what I would call my best all arounder. Basically, in my opinion, if you're not sure which case you should be buying on this list because you maybe don't fit perfectly into any of the other categories, well, I would say this is probably going to be the case you're going to want to get. Why? And we're going to see that in the close-up, but it offers a little bit of everything and at a great price. I got this one on sale for only $10, but normally it goes more around $20. But what this case is basically offering, it's a middle ground between compactness of the case and a little bit of extra space. Now, let's get in for a closer look and things are going to become quite a bit clearer. Now, first of all, design-wise, this case looks really nice and they have quite a few models available. This one is the Mario Kart edition. Once again, the material used for the case seems like very high quality. However, different to the other two cases, this one has more of a rubbery feel to it. Instead of wrist strap this time, it comes equipped with a little handle. Unfortunately, it's not removable. So if you don't like that there, unfortunately, you're gonna have to live with it. But the first thing that really makes this kit shine is that it's one of the more complete kits. It comes with a microfiber cloth for cleaning your switch screen, which is actually really high quality. And honestly, I've been using it regularly. Uh, it's a really good one. Secondly, it comes with a screen protector. And this isn't uh, the first PowerA screen protector I use. I actually like this one quite a bit more than the original Nintendo one. And it comes with its own applicator as well. So overall, package wise for the price, this is the one that is the best equipped. So now that we're on the inside, it's the same as the outside, really high quality material, a nice soft finish to make sure it doesn't damage your switch. And once again, we have a molded inside that really fits the size of the switch, making sure that once you put your switch light in there, it's not moving around. On the game case flip, well, you have a Velcro tie down to make sure that once you've got your switch light in there, once again, it's extra secure and it fits eight cartridges in this case. Now. This time around, accessory wise, we have a lot of more options that are gonna fit in this. Number one, it can accommodate a full 24 cartridge Nintendo Switch game case. Or if you're not that style and you'd rather bring around the 8-bit though SN30 Pro, that fits in there, no problem. Even though it's a tight fit, you could even fit in your full Nintendo Switch power brick. Yes, it does fit in there. However, closed, the case is going to be a tiny bit snug. So basically, when I said earlier that this case is probably the best case for someone who is unsure which to buy is because of its great versatility. Basically, there's a little bit for everyone without going overboard and having a huge case that basically can fit anything in it. So for me, it's one of the top four cases because it's a perfect middle ground case. And lastly, for the price, with the extra accessories you're getting, the value is just first class. So now we're coming up on our fourth and final case, the PDP Deluxe Travel Case. Now, if the last case was a perfect middle ground case, well, this is the king of storage capacity. Now, don't get me wrong, there are bigger cases out there, but to me, this is as big as I'm comfortable going before I just find that it goes overboard. 
But this case does have one other special feature about it. This is the first case that is made not specifically for the switch light, but is made to cross between the switch and the switch light. So not only is it the case with the biggest storage capacity, it's also a case that's perfect for someone like me that owns both a switch and a switch light and doesn't necessarily want to have to buy two different cases. Of course, that's under the assumption that you're not going to be traveling with both at the same time. But that's an argument for another time. So now let's take a close up look at the case and see what exactly we're getting for the extra size. So first I wanted you guys to get a better idea of the overall size of this case. So I put the last power case that we looked at side by side just so you can get an overall feel for just how much bigger this case is. It's bigger but it's not colossal. It still fits perfectly in a backpack or anything like that. Now, once again, these cases come in a variety of uh, different models. I have the Pokemon edition here, but PDP does make at least three or four other versions of this case. So once again, as with every other case on this list, the build quality is top notch. However, this time we're not having a rubbery field. We're having a texturized, more uh, gene like feel to the case. Once again, on the exterior, nothing fancy with a simple strap here to help you carry the case around. It is detachable on one side, but not detachable on the other, so you can't remove it completely. So if we take a look at the inside, there's no molded uh, finish this time, but it's normal. This case has to fit both the switch and the switch light, and basically the triggers are not at exactly the same spots, so they wouldn't have been able to do a molded finish in this case, no matter what they tried to do. This time, rather than have a strap that helps you tie down the Nintendo Switch, this is a strap that goes underneath the Switch that basically helps you lift it out of the case. And the way this case basically functions to flip between the regular Switch and the Switch Lite is with these little foam inserts. Uh, they work pretty well once you put them here at the bottom and you put your Switch Lite in. Your Switch is really not going to move, not going to go anywhere. However, I really would have liked them to maybe do like a Velcro uh, type addition here that would really tie these extra parts in just to make sure that it would be really hard to lose them. But nonetheless, it works. So I really don't have a major issue with that. It's just maybe if a PDP is listening, something they could take into account. You just put a little bit of Velcro on this with a little attachment point there and you would have yourself a really great functioning. So now let's see what we're really getting for that extra storage capacity. So first of all, this one can accommodate up to 14 game cartridges right with the basic case. But not only that, there's this little extra strap here, which is basically was originally made to fit the Joy-Cons. However, with the Switch Lite, it actually perfectly fits also your 8-bit 02 that when I'm using this case, that's actually what I place right there. Now, the extra few inches is really opening a lot of gates for you for accessory wise. Once again, here are just a few ideas of what fits into this case. This is a play stand. You can fit that in there. You can also fit your 8-bit dough controller. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it works. You just have to sort of tilt it off to make sure that it's not too high in there. But the case closes and everything just fine. If not, you could rather, like I said, once again, just leave that play stand in there, put your switch power brick, that fits in no problem. Basically, functionality-wise, without going overboard on size, this case gives you really a lot of options now. You're no longer restricted to one plus-sized accessory. You can generally fit two to three accessories, depending on which exact ones you're going for. So now, you pop your Switch Lite in there. Imagine you have your 14 game cases here. Charger, stand, little remote. You are good to go. I would say the only disappointing part of all this is this was one of the more expensive cases that came in at $25 and it doesn't come with a screen protector or a microfiber cloth. I was expecting from PDP maybe one of those accessories at least, but you know, overall you are getting a more complete larger case. So I maybe get what they're going for. So there you have it, that's our fourth and last case. And basically, like I said, now this is the king of the biggest I feel comfortable going for a everyday Nintendo Switch case. Of course you have those huge, almost suitcase-like cases that can accommodate your dock and everything, 
But that's not really something you're going to throw in a backpack and carry around every day now, is it? And the point today anyway was to focus on great cases for the Nintendo Switch Lite. I threw this one in here because I find that for someone who really wants to carry around a fully accessorized Nintendo Switch Lite, it is probably the best option around. And like I said earlier, the second bonus is if you're an owner of both the Switch Lite and the Switch and you don't want to have to buy two cases, you've got your solution right here. So here we are my top four picks for the best Nintendo Switch Lite cases. So whether you're looking at the best case for traveling compact or the best case offering you the most storage capacity for accessories all the while also accepting the regular Switch or then again whether it's the best case available that also lets you accept the Switch without having to remove a plastic or rubber cover. Or lastly, if you're just the kind of person that wants the best overall case for middle ground and value, I mean, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with any one of these four cases. And just before we finish this video, because I'm a guy who really likes to be thorough, I'm gonna be totally honest. There is one major case brand out there that I was not able to test yet, and that really I think could have maybe made this list as well. And that is the Switch Lite edition of the case made by Satisfy. And I'm not gonna lie, the only reason I actually don't have that case is a monetary one. Because unfortunately for those who don't know, I live in Canada and so far Satisfy doesn't have a distribution center in Canada. And for the Switch Lite accessories, they don't do business with Amazon yet. Now, what does that all mean? Well, it's that basically, if I wanted to buy the Satisfy case, basically it's a $30 case. However, with the shipping charges, import fees, and the exchange rate now that's terrible between the US and Canada, it would have cost me north of 80 Canadian dollars to get that case here. But overall, I did want to mention it because it looks like a super interesting case because it even accepts the Nintendo Switch Lite with the grip on it. However, I'm not ready to recommend an item that I haven't tested myself, but I've heard good stuff about it. But don't worry, the second I would get my hands on one, I'm actually going to do a full review on just that case because it is one that I think is worth reviewing and that I'm really interested to see how the Switch Lite edition turned out. So I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Like I said earlier, all the items are going to be linked in the description below. So if you want to pick up any of these cases and you want to make sure you get the exact editions that I'm recommending today, do use those links down below. And like I said, it helps out the channel at the same time. If you've watched up to this point in the video, I'm guessing you've liked what you've seen so far. So a like on the video would be a huge help. At the same time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and even activate the notification bell so you know each time I make a video. And as usual, I hope I'll see you guys in the next one.